One of the most useful pieces of equipment you can get in Breath of the Wild is the climbing gear set. With each piece giving you a climb speed up bonus, you are able to climb really fast. And if you can upgrade each piece two times at a great fairy fountain, then you get the set bonus, climbing jump stamina up, which basically takes away all of the stamina cost for jumping while you're climbing. This makes even the toughest climbs look like a joke, especially if you've got max stamina, and double especially if you've got food that can increase your max stamina, which will restore all of your stamina in the middle of a climb. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the entire climbing set. So the first piece of equipment is also the easiest. It's the climbing bandana. Find your way to the Dueling Peaks Tower. This is just a stone's throw away from the Great Plateau Tower, which is the first tower. You can see it's directly east from the Great Plateau Tower. You don't even need to capture this tower to get the bandana, but it makes it easy to jump down from here. From this tower, you can just go in between the dueling peaks, and on the left side here, there's going to be a shrine. And inside this shrine, there's a chest that has the bandana and I'll show you how to get it. This is a really easy shrine, so just make your way to the end of the shrine, and you'll see there's a chest up there. That is where the climbing bandana is. So to get this chest, we're going to select our magnesis power, go over to the right side here, and grab one of these barrels, and we're gonna drop it on that switch, and it's gonna tilt this platform. And now we can get the chest. Next, we're going to get the climbing leggings. First, we're going to go to Hatano Village. This is on the very far right side of the map. Going to Hatano Village is part of the main story quest, so you will end up having to go here anyway. Behind the dye shop, there's a little pier with a woman standing at it. Speak to this woman, and she gives you a quest. Now, this quest is optional, but I recommend you get it just for completion's sake. She tells you about three trees that are at the top of the mountain and a riddle that says that these trees point towards the sea. And it mentions a trial encased in stone. Now, before we go chasing after this shrine, I recommend that you have at least the warm doublet and a great flame blade. This will keep your body warm because where the shrine is located, it is a very cold area and you're gonna need it. I recommend that you make some cold resistance food because this may save your life. Now, if you want, you can mark the same point that I'm going to mark on the map. If you look at the map, you can see the three trees lined up on the map. And there's a little bushy part here. That's where the shrine is gonna be. So we're just gonna mark it with a blue marker and make our way there. So you're gonna reach this little area that has pine trees and a cave that has a bunch of rocks that you can break with a bomb. Enter the shrine, open the chest, and claim your climbing gear boots. And for the third and final piece, the armor, we're gonna go to the Hatno Ancient Tech Lab, where we're going to glide down to this sea to reach this island where we're gonna have to do a major test of strength shrine, which is just a really powerful guardian. I recommend you come prepared if you're gonna do this shrine, have a lot of weapons, have a lot of healing, have upgraded armor, and be prepared for a tough fight. Even if you aren't prepared, you can still go to the shrine and unlock it, just so that you have the fast travel, so you can go and do the fight whenever you do feel prepared. Once you take out the guardian, walk over to the chest and go claim your climbing armor. Now that you have the climbing armor set, you're gonna wanna upgrade it two times at a fairy fountain. For this, you're gonna need to find two fairy fountains. The first one and the easiest one is at Kakariko Village. And to unlock this fairy fountain, you're gonna have to pony up 100 rupees. To do the level one upgrade, you're gonna need three key swing and three rush room 
for each piece for a total of nine key swing and nine rush room which are really easy to get and you're going to need another fairy fountain there are two fairy fountains that you can reach very easily from towers there's the fairy fountain that's just south of the Tabantha Tower, which is at the westernmost part of the map, and you can just glide down to this fairy fountain. One of the fairy fountains can be found just east of the Akala Tower, which is at the northeast part of the map. And you'll see a shrine here, and just left of the shrine, there's a fairy fountain there, and you can just glide to this one. To activate the second fairy fountain, you're going to need 500 rupees. And to get the second tier upgrade, which will give you the set bonus for the climbing jump, you're going to need five electric key swings and five hightail lizards for each piece, for a total of 15 each. 